Hey guys, uh, welcome to your um, general reading for Scorpio. Uh, this is going to be for your August 2022. You can apply this to any of your placements because um, this could be in anything. So we're going to take a look at what your blocks and challenges are right now. Uh, and then we'll finish off the read to see what you guys need to know, what to look out for, how you can overcome it, transcend it, work with it. Uh, so just apply this to your own unique situation. Keep in mind that these are general messages. So uh, take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other placements. Uh, if you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on one of my new videos post. Give this video a thumbs up, like this video, share this video, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. Uh, what else? Uh, keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Scorpio people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading specific to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you book a private personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below, okay? So um, let's get started. Um, Scorpio, what are some of the blocks and challenges that Scorpio is facing for August 2022? Blocks and challenges that Scorpio is facing for August 2022. Okay, we have the Seven of Pentacles and the Two of Cups. I feel like one of the blocks and challenges that you're currently facing is that you're looking back at a relationship that didn't work out. Perhaps you're having a hard time letting it go. Perhaps you're having a hard time understanding what went down here. Definitely doing a lot of reassessing here. Um, um, you know, taking stock, taking inventory here. Okay, we have temperance here in the Four of Cups. I feel like your guides or your angels are asking you to take this opportunity as a learning experience here, a growing experience, a healing experience, you know? Uh, right now, I just feel like you're, you might be having a hard time seeing it or that you are seeing it, but you're having a hard time sort of like getting there, you know? So it, it could be a, a bit of a process. It's going to take some time. So just, you know, go at your own pace. I mean, there's no uh, time frame on when, you know, this is going to happen. I mean, everyone's on their own timeline everyone goes at their own pace okay uh, this is your journey here so you know whenever you're ready it'll happen you have the ace of cups here and the chariot I do feel like you're gonna have that sort of like self-realization here and I feel like whatever you're going through here whatever didn't work out I feel like you will overcome it and move towards you know perhaps new love but more so focusing on yourself here yeah so uh tell me about the seven of pentacles here chariot cancer energy temperance sagittarius energy tell me about the seven of pentacles here all right we have the nine of wands tell me about the two of cups here and the seven of cups you know if you know for some of you guys i'm getting another storyline like it could be a situation that you know when will you ever find love you know and you know it could be a situation that you're worried about not finding it but i feel like your guides and your angels are telling you or maybe they're sending you messages that it will come to you once you're ready sort of thing you know once it's meant for you okay so i feel like you're wondering if th this will ever happen i i feel like you know i feel like this will happen yeah in divine timing in divine timing here tell me about this um uh, temperance card we have the yeah the wheel of fortune in divine timing it will happen so just sit back relax and just enjoy the process here enjoy your enjoy your life do do the things that make you happy yeah do things that you enjoy do things that will emotionally fill you uh you know so temperance that uh not temperance hangman piscean energy here and the wheel of fortune tell me about the ace of cups why is the ace of cups here king of swords libra aquarius gemini and the chariot and the ten of wands here seems like you're carrying around a lot of burdens here a lot of pain okay a lot of trauma and I feel like you're trying to release that okay so it's going to be a bit of a process so I feel like you know it's it's the energy of really surrendering and letting go surrendering surrendering to the divine surrendering to the universe and just letting things happen in divine timing in divine timing um, you know it will come 
it will come towards you. And you just have to be patient with the temperance card here, okay? What else do we have here for Scorpio? How can Scorpio overcome their challenges and their blocks here? For August 2022, how can Scorpio overcome their blocks and challenges here for August 2022? Okay, we have the Emperor here and the Ten of Swords. We have the Magician here, Gemini, Virgo, and the Three of Pentacles, and the Knight of Pentacles, and the Empress. Wow. There is a soulmate that's coming in for you. So I feel like you just have to work through the pain that you've dealt with in the past here. <sighs> Some of you guys might have like mommy issues and daddy issues here too. So I feel like that's something that needs to be addressed because I feel like that could be one of the reasons for the blocks in finding romantic love or that, you know, when it comes to romantic relationships, you know, you struggle through that a lot. Okay. Uh, the magician here, Gemini Virgo. And the Three of Pentacles here. Knight of Pentacles and the Empress. Like, do you feel like in divine timing, you will meet your divine counterpart here? It's going to be a, a, a bit of a slow process, especially with the Knight of Pentacles here. But I feel like this individual is going to be your match. This, this is someone that you're going to work very well with. You're going to flow really well with this individual here. Tell me about the Emperor. At the Eight of Wands, actually, this person might be coming in pretty quickly. Ten of Swords. We have the Moon. This could be an indication that you're, you know, you're doing, you're definitely doing some sort of shadow work here. Okay, uh, definitely doing, uh, you know, some sort of a Dark Night of the Soul stuff here too. So I feel like things are rapidly moving, pretty rapidly. Okay, um, let's see what else we have here. The Moon, Cancer, Pisces energy. The, uh, the Magician eats the Wands, the Three of Pentacles, and the Ten of Cups. There is someone here that's coming in for you. Yeah. Someone new. This is someone that you're man this is someone that you manifested. This is someone here that's gonna give you what you've been looking for uh, all this time with the Ten of Cups here. Whoever I, I do feel like this is gonna come in pretty quickly, but once this happens, you know, I feel like you know there's gonna be an energy of sort of taking your sweet old time to get to know this person. You know, I feel like there's an energy of not rushing. You know, the ace of pentacles here. I do feel like there is gonna be new love here. Yeah, there is gonna be new love here. And I feel like, you know, you're gonna wonder why you were even ever worried about this. Yeah. So I do feel like this is gonna be, you know, a very loving stable safe relationship for you to be in because maybe in the past like you've never been in a safe relationship but i feel like it does have something to do with you know issues with your parents here and i feel like you're working through healing through that or trying to manage it better you know um so uh we have the three of wands here and the empress here i do feel like this is an individual that you're going to see a future here that you're going to plan a future here with okay so um you know i feel like you don't have to worry like i said I'm, everything is happening in divine timing for you so it could just be you know you're just not worried about you know finding love it could be uh, you know you could be uh worried about like a, a plethora of stuff too so so i feel like like i said i feel like your guides and your angels and your ancestors the universe is divine is asking you not to worry okay so scorpio i hope that this was helpful i hope that this resonated if it did leave a comment down in the comment section below share this video like this video if you haven't done so yet subscribe hit the notification bell i'll speak to you guys in the next one all right thanks guys bye